Forget about The Sims 4 Love Struck. Let's talk about the exciting new features coming in the base game. Hello and welcome to The Sims News. Grab yourself a drink and let's head into it. I know everyone's excited about the dating apps, the woohoo hotels, and the vibrating hardware returning to the game. But for my Simmers who either won't be getting this game pack, sorry, expansion pack, and my Simmers who won't get the pack right away and are waiting for like a sale or something, let me give you something else to be hyped up about. You might be wondering, we get like base game updates like every other day. What's so special about this one? Well, in recent years, the most common problem the community has with EA is them not listening to the community's feedback and requests. First, we got a Star Wars game pack, which absolutely no one wanted. If you do enjoy that pack, like that's okay, you do you babes, but let me know in the comments so we can all stare in judgement. And then it was the continuous release of kits and packs, despite the increasing amount of bugs in the game. But then they apologized. Yes, EA came out with a statement apologizing for the current state of the game and informing us that they will be focusing on making the game playable again with constant fixes. So what is so special about this base game update is that one feature coming with this update is something that the community has asked for for so long. And I know you're probably thinking one feature, that's it. Yes, it's not a lot, but this could be the start of getting The Sims 4 back to its glory days. Before we get into that feature, let's look at the other features we're getting with this base game update. First, we have romantic boundaries. Have you ever wanted your Sims to have like an open relationship? Well, now you can because we got four new options in Create a Sim. You can now choose if your Sim gets jealous when their romantic partner engages in non physical romance interactions, that's like flirting and whatnot, physical romance interactions excluding woohoo, woohoo, and you can also choose if their jealousy triggers change by talking it out with another Sim. So basically, I'll still need my mods, but I guess it's a cool feature. Also with this new update, we got 3D lashes. I was so glad EA got rid of those like black rectangles that they called lashes. That was until I actually saw the lashes and I just have to say, like I prefer the old ones. I know we've been asking for new lashes like for a very long time, but I prefer the originals. And um, maybe it's just me, but let me know what you think in the comments. It doesn't really matter to me anyway, since I've been playing with a mod that removes them for like so long. What's really exciting about this update is that Lashes now have their own section in Create a Sim. This just makes things a lot easier for me when I'm like layering my CC. Now I won't have to choose between having Lashes and Glasses. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate Bitch, you- Next, we got a relationship panel update. This is more of a, like a small convenience feature. Basically, it lets you create like boyfriend girlfriend relationships right in cast or like partner relationships, as opposed to having only marriage options like we had in the past. Also, the language in the relationship panel has been updated to be a bit more gender neutral, just for a bit of inclusivity. Love that for us. With this update, we also got curved poles, which really isn't a big deal for me since I'm not that much of a builder. Trust me, I would love nothing more than to be good at building. Anyways, this is a nice little update. I hope that it just doesn't release as broken as the curved windows, which till this day aren't fixed. So in terms of gameplay, we got a relationship section in the conversation wheel. This will contain all interactions concerning relationships like break up, propose, ask to just be friends, Ask about romance and woohoo interests, etc, etc. This will also contain interactions from the new pack. We are also now able to hide relationships. Have you ever had that one sim that's just so fucking extroverted that their relationship tab literally is an eyesore? Well, now you can hide relationships without actually losing the relationship. The relationship becomes... Oh my god, I've said relationships so many times. The relationship becomes visible if you interact with that sim again. Another change we got is with neighborhood stories. You know that thing that makes your NPCs adopt like seven cats? Yeah, we got more of that. Now NPCs can have friendship changes and relationship changes, which just makes the world seem a little bit more lively. And now Don Lothario can get with every single sim in your world. And honestly, I love that for him. The behavior that you exhibited was whore-like. The whore jumped out and then okay. it jumped back in. This one is for my streamer girlies, gone are the days where you face copyright issues cause of the sims music. Cause you can now enable stream safe music in the settings. Now I saved the best update for last. This is a feature that we've been asking for for so long and I've been waiting for for literally forever. We are finally going to be getting a copy paste feature in creator sim. 
to copy styles to different outfits. Gone are the days where you have to repeat the same process over and over and over again. I can't tell you how much I've been waiting for this feature and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yes, I know it's not much, but it could be a start to EA finally getting us what we want. Shout out to Urban Sims for showcasing these features with her early access copy. You can check out her video in the description below. Let me know what you think about the features that we're getting with the space game update. Let me know if you're excited for the new pack in the comments below. And that is all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. And YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. So see if they're right and I'll see you guys over there. Good damn bye.